Hello students, in this video I'm going to talk to you about the next line method in Java uh, and some of its gotchas and problems so you are safe from them. Uh, you already know that methods such as uh, next uh, and it's automatic capitalization, don't worry about that too much actually I'll tell you not to do that uh, next int next double etc they get only tokens and ignore white space okay so token means that you might have some data let's say 19 in the stream and after that a white space white space could be tab simple single space or more or a end of line character okay they're designed to work with tokens and they throw away the white space that's the way they're supposed to work but there are times when you want the entire line with white space in it. For example, somebody's street address. So in that case, we use the next line method. Okay. So next line method is not supposed to ignore anything in the stream like these guys do. They throw away the white space. Next line is required to get the white space. Otherwise, you will not be able to get somebody's street address. So it's required to get everything. And that sometime could create problem if there were some other inputs before the use of next line. So first we show you the normal way it is supposed to work. And once we have shown that, we'll show you the problems and the gotchas. And then solution that I prefer, there are many solutions to next line gotcha, but I have preferred one, I'll show you that. But you are free to use any other solution that you think is good. So let's go to Eclipse. So this is the normal use in which we will not get a problem. Let's say I needed two inputs from the user. One is their street address, so I have variable for that, and their age on the last birthday. So here I'm prompting them to enter the complete street address, which will have more than one word. Words are white space separated. And since words for the address will be white space separated I'm going to use the next line method for that and in a minute when we run the program I'll enter that here then I ask them the age on the last birthday which will be an integer and I use kb.nextint a token getting method which ignores the white space and then I print the age and address so let's run this program So let's say my address is 2300 Pico Boulevard, Santa Monica, California. So I enter that. And then age on the last birthday, not my age, but somebody is 34. And you know, the line 13 prints the age, 34, and line 14 prints the street address. So this is the normal use if we do things in this sequence everything will be fine. However, uh, you, you don't want to fix the date uh, sequence of data input. Once you declare the variable like these two, I should be really able to get my data in any sequence I want, like age first or the address first, or in any order I want, basically. And that shouldn't really matter. So let's see a problem that could occur if we don't follow this sequence. So I go to my next program, problem in using the next line. So everything same up to here, everything is same, except I've changed the order of the data input. So here I ask for the address first, and then for the age. So all I did just change the sequence of data input. So I asked for the age first this time, and then for the street address, which will have more than one word and that's why we used to need to use the next line. 
okay so let's run this one okay so this time enter the age first 34 and watch watch this area what happens as soon as I press the enter key well it, it does ask for the complete street address which is the line 10 but notice it didn't actually let me even allow to enter it and I could type my keyboard or something it won't let me enter it and it prints the age that was entered here but the street address is blank which is sort of zero length string as if it's a white space so what happened here is that when I entered age 34 uh, you can think of it this way that in the whites in the stream and the stream can be represented uh, <clears throat> like this graphics here can I find graphics okay well let's oh, smart charge graphics okay so let's say hmm, okay I'm not going to get that here this is on the Mac but as I drew in the class that you're going to have a pipe and in the pipe you'll have this sequence that uh, you have the age uh, let me get that here Tab. you have the age first then after you enter the age you'll have a end of the line character and let's just call it n although it's not a, and let's call it some something like that and then you're trying to enter the street address but what happened is that next int method gets that but this end of the line character is gotten by the next line because next line is supposed to get everything and that's the reason that uh, I didn't even get to enter it actually because next line this line got what was left in the stream after the age was entered this side is the computer side this side is the keyboard side and there's a pretty good diagram I drew for that in the class okay all right so how can you solve this problem that I can enter data in any order I should not be forced used this order that I enter tokens first and the next line first and the tokens later because in real life I may want to enter data in any sequence I want so solution to that and my preferred solution is use two scanners one scanner can be just for the tokens second scanner can be whole lines only just for the whole line that will be using the next line method okay so notice I left the same sequence here which gave us a problem over here okay see this sequence gave us a problem and I was not able to enter the street address so I left the same sequence but what I did this time I used my second scanner KB whole lines only which is not the same scanner as KB to get the address okay and let's see what happens this time so 34 this time it is letting me this time it is letting me enter the address okay so 2300 pico boulevard santa monica california and as soon watch this space as soon as I complete the key enter the key you will see that both age and this address will be printed and there you go so we got the normal behavior that we had over here when we used only one scanner but we were constricted in order of data entry we had to take the next line first and age later now you can say okay can we reverse the order here sure you can 
it's not a problem so I'm gonna take this out of here and of course that order worked before remember so it's not really a problem so and put it after this this order did work earlier anyhow and run as Java application and so 2300 Pico Boulevard Santa Monica California age 34 and no problems at all okay all right so this is my preferred solution I create a separate scanner just to get the whole lines which we'll be using the next line method from the input methods okay and keep these two se scanners separate of course in the stream you cannot have anything other than you either have tokens or you want the whole line so this method does work just some concluding remarks you can say why do we need next line method of course we just said one is like things like street address you have no idea how many words will be there so we need for that and also uh, in windows java file and folder name are allowed to have white space when we read those files we need a separate scanner to read their names from the keyboard uh, this is an unfortunate fact because of windows uh, operating system but it's there we have to live with it and this is the solution okay so we finished working with Java next line method and normal functioning of it and the gotchas okay thank you and I'll see you soon in the class and in the next video